my beloved cancers, my favorite sign. Trust your intuition for guiding you to this 2023 full moon in cancer reading. So this is going to be a personal reading for you, especially intended for those of you watching this for it to resonate with you. So I didn't even realize this was on the moon. So the moon is really mooning. It's doing its thing. Full moon in cancer is all about the mother. Full moon energy in general is mother energy, very maternal, divine feminine. The full moon really reflects the pregnant woman's belly. So it has a lot to do with pregnancy, ovulation, motherhood. And then the moon in general is divine feminine energy. So it's kind of like a triple mother energy. <clears throat> so let's see how this is affecting your life. So let's just get a clear reading from the Wheel of Fortune here, Cancer. All right, clarity from the universe. How is this full moon in Cancer, which is definitely going to be affecting us the most, by the way, we're already ruled by the moon. The moon is in our sign. It's gonna be doing its thing. So let's see how it's going to affect us in our lives. January 6th through the 9th. Cancer. Ooh, we have the tower. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> So Cancer, the tower, this is Aries energy. The tower is when the rug or the floor is swept out beneath you. It's almost like when you're not listening to spirit and spirit forces a change. There's a reason the crown is impacting the tower, the top of the tower. It's like your crown chakra is getting some type of brutal awakening. Usually it's because we're not hearing a message you know the universe will whisper and whisper and if we don't listen then it becomes a loud bang and a scream and a shout and that's really what the tower is so there's an energy that either we haven't been paying attention to or not listening to um and the universe is it's forcing a change on us so the tower is all about change well and it kind of makes sense too with this full moon and cancer and we are cancer so it's really heavily impacting us all right, give me more for Cancer. January 6th through the 9th, what's the energy with the full moon? Clear energy for Cancer with the full moon and Cancer. What does Cancer need to see? So we have anchor stability. So in the midst of this tower thing, like... I feel like I'm hearing hold on tight. Like, I feel like the universe is telling you, like, hold on to something on your way out the window, right? Like, hopefully one of those bed sheets catches on to a shard of glass that's hanging out the window and you are able to safely get out of this tower moment. It's almost like, hold on, brace yourself, right? The plane is coming down, but it, it's like you found a, a good way to kind of brace for impact cancer. So whatever is going on, we got it. It might not even feel like a tower moment because I feel like there's this energy where you're gonna fall safely or land safely, uh, but there is gonna be a little bit of a shake up here. All right, so they're telling me that's the only one I need. Grab the tarot. What does Cancer need to see? Shuffle these once. You know, I just talk out loud with what I hear comes through my intuition. So whenever I'm like, shuffle once, cut twice, that's what Spirit's telling me to do. So what's the energy? Flip the deck over. What's the, like that. What's the energy for Cancer? With the full moon in Cancer, this mother energy. The hanged one in reverse, right? So instead of chilling, relaxing, it's like a shake-up energy. Kind of anxious all over the place, scatterbrain energy. So they're telling me to take out a couple more. So that's Pisces energy. Tell me more for Cancer with the full moon in Cancer. What's going on? The four of cups. There's our Cancer energy in reverse. So trying to get out of some type of an indifferent energy. Oh my God, Cancer. Look at this. We have the tower and the tower. Like, I don't know what's going on with us. There's definitely a tower moment. So it's like there's a tower moment happening, um, but we're going to hold steady while it's happening. I'm getting that with anchor, but then with a the hang one, this is all about being scatterbrained. You might be a little bit worried as this moment's happening. I don't know if this has to do with finances. Let's see what this has to do with. So the Four of Cups in reverse, her shirt says over it, right? She's kind of indifferent. It usually can be about divine timing or divine health, but in reverse, it's almost like you don't want the help that's offered to you. I feel like this is either about accepting help or realizing that 
<laughs> there is someone that has a little bit more power than you, Cancer, like the universe, because I feel like you're such a powerful person. You know, we are the mother, so we we can be very underappreciated like a mother, but at the same time, we feel like we got to hold our own a lot. And I feel like it's almost like the universe, like shaking us up. Like you can ask for help. I'm almost getting that energy. The tower in reverse is like after the shit hits the fan. So we are getting out of this, I see. But it, it's almost like there's like an earth shattering energy that's happening Cancer with the full moon in Cancer. I want to see what this is um, in relation to a little bit more. They're telling me to take the moon cards, which of course I had to get for this full moon energy. Tell me more for Cancer. Tell me about this tower moment and getting out of this tower moment. This could even be related to your own anxiety with the hanged one in reverse. Spells and rituals bring magic and self-care together. And I've been getting a lot of downloads about self-care lately, how self-care leads to everything. Self-care is self-preservation. It's the most important skill you can have in your life, honestly. If you don't even have a job, right? If you're just out on the streets, still taking care of yourself is the number one thing you need to be focused on. So there's like a very big... Um, encouragement or influence to take care of yourself at this time cancer <clears throat> let's get i'm gonna put this up here one of the witches shuffle once cut once that could also be the energy of what happens after this tower moment like the universe is like okay you really need to just like chill take it easy um you know like just Take it very easy on yourself, Cancer, is what I'm getting with this. What's the energy for Cancer after this tower moment for the full moon in Cancer? Maybe it's like finding out you're going to be a mother unexpectedly or something like that. Oh my goodness, here I go. Elemental magic, nature. So that's really interesting that we have spells and rituals and elemental magic. So using the power of your intuition, right? Energy flows where intention goes. That's what I'm getting with this. Also noticing this energy of a lightning strike. So we have the lightning right there. We have the lightning on that tower. We have the lightning on this tower energy. So there's definitely something about lightning striking. It's almost like you have the thunder. You have the control. It's like you're a weather goddess. Like you can control the weather, Cancer. That's how powerful you are. But I also feel like there's this energy of surrender with the tower. Um, and just like focus on your self-care or something. Because I feel like there's this energy in here where the universe is like, maybe it's like you're moving too fast or something. And the universe is telling you, okay, like... Like, let us handle it a little bit because you're doing too much right now. I don't know what that tower moment is. in. You know, I think the tower moment is directly related to your self-care. It's almost like a slow down energy is what I'm getting. I'm getting that especially with the anchor. So tell me something. And, you know, I read this quote the other day from somebody on Twitter and it like really resonated. What did it say? Um, oh, if you will drown yourself trying to be an anchor for everybody. So that's definitely something I'm getting cancer. Like take it easy with this full moon in cancer i mean this full moon is about you so honor it honor yourself and honor honor the moon by taking it easy on yourself let me get the charms for cancer so we have two animals so we have uh, <clears throat> the dragon the fire breathing dragon coming out on spells and rituals so i get a lot of passion with this and like fighting for something worthy energy so cancer i feel like you're um it's almost like you're fighting for your body or you're fighting for your own care i feel like the universe is like if there's anything you should be fighting for or like worried about or concerned about which you never should be concerned or worried but it's almost like this energy of like put self-preservation first and i'm getting that too with the triceratops so this was an herbivore so they only eat plants i'm almost getting something with like take care of your body and nourishing yourself and give yourself lots of fruits and vegetables i think that's really important at this time to kind of cleanse your energy and give your body more high vibrational foods and fruits is what i'm getting very randomly with that give me something else for cancer for the full moon in cancer 
So we, the moon, of course. The moon in Capricorn. That's funny, I'm a Capricorn moon. So moon in Capricorn, Capricorn is all about work. It's actually the father of the zodiac. So it's kind of like the opposite of cancer energy and we are in Capricorn season. So this is almost telling you intuitively, you know, the moon's all about our intuition, our emotions, um, energy in motion. It's all about cycles and phases. It's almost like this energy of going through, um, your emotions to become to come out like more determined you have the eighth house so the eighth house is all about transformation and resurrection yeah there's a huge transformation i almost feel like it's overtaking your work life cancer this might be like a shift in career or a shift in um what you're doing on a daily basis in terms of work or practicality towards your dreams because i feel like there's something in here about like a big change coming it's almost like a wake up wake up call the tower can sometimes be a wake up call so i feel like that's coming for you um in a big way we have the tower twice so be mindful of that with the full moon in cancer take it easy on yourself cancer and yeah i hope this resonated if you'd like a personal reading head on over to the moon otherwise yeah i will catch you in the next moon phase reading very soon